Okay, Integrated Math 1 fans, our topic for today, this is Notes 1-3, Reporting with Precision and Accuracy. Before we begin, let me give you your joke of the day. I decided to sell my vacuum cleaner. It was just gathering dust. All right, so there's, uh, there's three things we're going to take a look at here. After the lesson, students should be able to round to a given number of decimal places, round to a given number of significant figures, and be able to compare and contrast precision and accuracy. So we're actually going to start here with precision and accuracy and just looking at what those two things mean. All right, and to do that, we're going to compare a couple of measurements. So in number one, for each pair of measures, name the smaller unit and the more precise measurement. So we're going to look at, call this A, B, and C. In A, our two measures are 12 pounds and 12.4 pounds. Now, if we're looking at uh, the units place, the more decimals we go, if they're the same unit of measurement, so pounds and pounds, this one is going to be the smaller unit. Okay? So the example I'll give is if we think about money. For example, we have $5. Okay? If I write $5, I'll write it without the zeros. All right, that gives you some information. But if I say that we have $4.96, now you could certainly round that up to five and say, hey, you know what, I have about $5. This one, though, is the smaller unit of measurement. This is more precise, okay? So 12 pounds and 12.4 pounds, this is the more precise measurement, 12.4. Because our measures get into, in terms of decimal places, this is one-tenth, all right? Twelve, twelve and four-tenths pounds. So the, the measurement of this value here, of this place, is tenths. It's the tenths place, okay? So if we keep going up here, like 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, that's going up by 0 0.1 pounds. So that would be the more precise measurement. Now if we've got inches and inches, 17.36 inches and 17.4 inches, this one is the smaller unit of measurement because this has two decimal places. That is the hundredths place. And that unit is 0.01. So each time, if this 6 goes up to a 7, we went up 1 one-hundredth, 0 0.01 inches. The more precise measurement, it will again be 17.36 inches. And then in part C here, one thing you'll notice, we have 376 centimeters and we have 3.8 meters. Now these are different units of measurement. Centimeters and meters are not the same, but centimeters are the smaller unit because it takes 100 centimeters to make one meter. So this is in terms of one centimeter, right there, and the more precise measurement would be 376 centimeters. We could convert this to meters by dividing by 100 and we would get 3.76 meters Okay, and now again, 3.76 is going to be more accurate than 3.8 because there's more places for this. So, definition. The precision is the level of detail of a measurement determined by the smallest unit or fraction of a unit that can be measured. Okay, precision is the level of detail of a measurement and it's determined by the smallest unit. Okay, so again, we're gonna take the smaller unit and that ends up being the more precise one. Now, if we talk about accuracy, accuracy is the closeness of a given measurement or value to the actual measurement or value. 
All right, or I might use the word true. If we take the true value of something and measure it, we may not get the actual number. We may be close. So how accurate are we? Well, it depends on how close we are to the true or the actual measure. Okay, so as an example here, we'll go down to number two. And uh, every week, a technician in a lab needs to test the scales in the lab to make sure that they are accurate. She uses a standard mass that is exactly four grams. This is the true weight. And she gets the following results. So she has three scales. She has scale one. Now scale one, when she measures this mass, she gets 4.05 grams. The second scale, she gets 3.98 grams for the same thing, same mass, same object. And then in the third scale, she gets 4.021. Now question A says, which scale gives the most precise measurement? Well, if we're talking about precision, we're looking for the smallest unit. Now all of these are decimals. 4.05 goes to the hundredths place. So that's 0 0.01 is the unit. Scale two also goes to the 0 0.01 unit. Notice that scale three though actually has three decimal places. So this is called thousandths. And that unit is 0 0.001, okay? And you can put a zero in front. When you have a decimal and there's no integer, a lot of times people will write the zero in front there. But that's 0 0.001. So the most precise measurement is going to be scale three. Now, which scale gives the most accurate measurement? So accuracy, well, how close are we to the actual value to the true value. So what we want to do is we want to take the measures that we got and compare them to what they should have been, to what the true measure was. And to compare them, we're going to take a difference and difference means to subtract, okay? Difference means to minus. So for scale one, we got 4.05 what we wanted to get though was four. Now if we subtract that, we will get 0 0.05 grams. Okay, so how accurate were we? We were off by 0 0.05 grams. Scale number two, 3.98 was the actual weight, sorry, was the weight on the scale. That's what the scale said. The actual weight was four. Now you might say, well, wait a minute. If we subtract that, we end up with a negative number. And that's true, but it doesn't matter the order that we've subtracted this in. So I could have done four minus 3.98. We wanna know how close was scale, scale two's measurement to the real value. Well, it was off by 0 0.02 grams. So what you'll see in the textbook you might see these symbols here, two bars like this. And what those bars represent is something called absolute value. And it talks about absolute value is the distance from zero on a number line. So for example, here's zero. And if I take uh, positive three, and let's say I take negative three. If I was gonna count the distance to zero, well, from negative three, that's three spaces. But you might say, wait a minute, from positive three is also a distance of three. Now, we're not talking about direction, you know, if we're going positive to the right or negative to the left. We're just talking about the distance, and they're the same. So the absolute value of negative three is just three and the absolute value of positive three is three. So what we're doing over here, yes, I got a negative when I subtracted, but the absolute value of that is still a positive. So that's what we're gonna use as our, our value. All right, and then scale three. 
the measure we got was 4.021. The real value was 4. And if we subtract that, we get 0 0.021. Now again, we're trying to give the most accurate measurement. So the most accurate is going to be the smallest difference. So we have 0 0.05. Now 0 0.02, that's smaller than 0 0.05, so it's definitely not the first scale. The third scale, the difference was 0 0.021. Whoa, those are really close. Now you might say that 0 0.021 is more precise, but 0 0.02 is the smaller difference. That would be like 0 0.020 if I put another place there. That is the most accurate. It's not the most precise, but it's the most accurate. So the answer is scale two. All right. Uh, now the last thing here is rounding. So in number three, we're going to take the same decimal, 10.392. If we round it to two decimal places, then what we're looking at here is 10.39. We go to the next digit, though, which you'll notice is a 2. If the number is a 0 to a 4, we don't change anything. If it's a 5 to a 9, we have to round up. Okay, so 10.39, since the next digit after that 9 is a 2, we're not going to change this. So the answer is 10.39. Now, if we go to one decimal place, so now we're looking at 10.3. Notice the next digit is a 9. Since that is between 5 and 9, we have to round up the 3. So we write that as 10.4. And then the last two here, 18.9601 to one decimal place. So we've got 18.9, the next digit is a 6, which means we have to round that up. Now this is tricky because the next digit that I would get to from 9, I would get to 10. Okay, now I can't write 10. I round this up to a 0, but when I do that, this changes from 18 to 19. Okay, so I would actually write my answer as 19.0 to one decimal place. So sometimes even when I round here, I may also have to change the number to the left of that. If you think of money again, 18.96 dirhams is basically 19 dirhams. But because they said one decimal place, I will put the zero there because I need one decimal place. So I, I wouldn't just say 19 and stop. I want 19.0. And then the last one here to three decimal places, so 0 0.960, we go to the next value, which is a 1. Now, between 0 and 4, we don't change. So this is 18.960, and that is the end of the notes.